Hello, beautiful Agatha Mind family. Welcome again to another wonderful update. Thank you so dearly for always supporting. I really appreciate. If you are just coming across this wonderful family for the first time, or you are seeing my face for the first time, I still remain your one and only Agatha Progress, bringing you the news back to back. Remember, we react to all videos and your opinion is highly needed in the comment section. So carry your popcorn. Let's dive into what's happening today. Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. Just to give a, to give a background of what we do this evening. Welcome, 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 welcome. Good afternoon, everyone. We are going to have a background of what we do this uh, evening. This evening, we are going to continue from where we stopped last night. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. We are going to start and we will begin to expose some of the things for those who are uh, worried about uh, the release of uh, Mazen and Bikano. We are going to be lecturing the government in case they are confused of what to do. We will begin to lecture those who may be confused that uh, at this point we do not need, uh, it is not about amnesty as some people, uh, you know, want to claim. So this evening we are going to lecture uh, you know, how Mazinam Dikano will be released uh, without uh, amnesty, okay? It, has, it, it shouldn't be amnesty, of course, but it can be amnesty. In fact, personally, I am not interested in any other thing other than to see him released. Whether it is amnesty, whether it is, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter what, uh, under which uh, uh, circumstances. What I am interested in is to see him out, both with amnesty, both with whatever that comes, you know. So for the fact that we are already uh, discussing, for the fact that there is already something on the table, we don't care. We don't care. And I have to, uh, I have to let you people understand why I am taking this position of I want him out with whichever, you know, condition, they want to give him. I don't care. Now, uh, some of you uh, do not understand that, uh, like I have said in the one of the posts, that the uh, the Constitution empower empowers the uh, Attorney General to drop charges against Mazinam Bikano. And at this point, that is what that is what we are looking at because there is no you know Mazinam Bikano have committed no crime you know, to be uh, granted, you know, for amnesty to be granted to him, okay? He has not committed any crime for somebody to say they want to grant him amnesty. Now, the reason why I have come to give background of what we are going to talk about this evening is that the agitation, the pressure will not stop. In fact, I am going to be commending the Niger Delta our riverine brothers, our coastal brothers who are now waking up to the call, who are now waking up to the call, and I am urging them that this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. This call, they are the call to, to action, the call to restoration of Biafra has taken a new dimension. The call to restoration of Biafra has taken a new dimension and there is no going back. What we are looking at is that everything will be grounded until Biafra is restored. Let me also make it very clear that uh, nobody, nobody will take position of Mazenam de Kano. Nobody. Nobody is going to take position of Mazenam de Kano. So anybody that is, uh, those of you who are you know, rumoring somebody taking position of Mazinam Bikano. Nobody is taking position of Mazinam Bikano, and nobody will ever do that. But what I have to tell you people this evening, this afternoon, when these brokers will be coming, is that the dimension 
the, this struggle is already there. The struggle has taken a new dimension. It takes those with the understanding of the spirit to know what is going to be happening going forward. You are going to know that Nigeria, we are going to bring Nigeria to its knee. We are going to bring Nigeria to its knee. You see, let me tell you people, we have gotten to the point of no return. Point of no return. And it is called revolution. The revolution have just begun. So if you either you join this revolution for the liberation and the freedom of your people, or you continue to wallow in ignorance and in darkness, we are moving forward. We are moving forward and we want to see Mazin Amnikani released. What you are just what you beginning you what you will be seeing now is just a child play of what is to come. The spirit of Biafra has possessed everyone. We don't need to have a special person to command anybody. We don't have we don't need to have a special somebody to come and give order to anybody. What you're going to see happening now is a divine uh, a, a divine action, a divine movement and a divine intervention, and the Biafra spirit has possessed everyone. So, the only thing Simon Ekpa will be doing is to make sure I wake up the subconsciousness of people of Biafra to know the important and how very important it is for us to restore Biafra. Biafra is not going to be declared. We have declared Biafra in 1967. This time around, Biafra lasted for three years a sovereign state, many states, many countries in Africa recognize Biafra, including those outside Africa. And what we have come to do is to restore the Republic of Biafra. It doesn't matter in any which, whatever tactics or whichever methodology we are going to use, but Biafra is on the way to restoration. This is the beginning. And I'm calling on everyone if you know that which you are trained to do, if you know that which you are known for, if you know what you have to do to make sure we bring Nigeria to its nail, the door is open. The door is open for you. The door is open for you, for your group. The door is open for you, for your department. It is time we speak in the language they will not understand. We don't want to speak in a language they will understand. We want to start speaking in a language they will never ever understand. So, first of all, we want to ground the economy until further notice. The economy must go down. We have to let them understand that when you are fighting for the freedom of your people, you make sure you hold the government in a very, in a very, very tight corner. In a very, in a very sensitive uh, area and in very sensitive places. So, everybody that believes in Biafra must rise up. Don't ask question. If you ask question, you're not on hand, eme. Do not ask question. Those who will ask question, you are not part of what is going on and you can never be part of the restoration of Biafra. And remember, what we demand is the uh, freedom of Mazenam Dikano, unconditional release. What we demand for is the release of all the indigenous people of Biafra that is being incarcerated, that is being uh, that has been arrested for many months, for many years without trial. So we demand their unconditional release. They have committed no crime. We are making it very clear: self determination, agitation for self determination. It's not a crime under Nigeria law. It is not a crime under Africa Charter. It is not a crime under UN Charter. It is not a crime under international law. It is enshrined in different international instruments. In fact, like I have said, under Article 20 of Africa Human and, and People's Right, the Africa Charter on Human and People's Right, it is enshrined that in, in, uh, in uh, foreign uh, domination, like we see in Nigeria today, Nigeria is under foreign domination, Fulani foreign domination. 
it doesn't matter how you want to put it. This is a fact. Nigeria is under Fulani foreign domination, and it is called a new system of apartheid regime, where the minority controls the majority through terrorism. Okay? So I want you to underline that. And for us to defend ourselves, we are going to apply every mechanism known to man and the devil and Satan. Known to man and God. Known to man and everything that exists in this life. We are going to apply that pattern. So to defend ourselves, we must apply if we don't have access to equal force. If we do not have access to equal force what the Fulani terrorists are using to kill our people, we are going to use everything available to us. Let me tell you, under that Article 20 of Africa Charter, it is even courageous to use arms to fight for our liberation when we are under foreign domination. And today, I am coming to make it very clear that Nigeria is under foreign domination. Nigeria, Biafra, is under foreign domination. Who are the foreign domination Fulanese? They are not Nigerians. They are not Nigerians. So they are, we are under foreign domination. And for us to get away from this foreign terrorist and foreign domination, we need a force. We need to apply force. We need to not just apply force, apply everything necessary according to the Africa Charter on Human and People's Rights, Article 20. What that Article 20 made is said is that, you know, when you, you, you know, you have to go into liberation, uh, in a liberation struggle, liberation struggle, that liberation struggle is a very strong word in that chapter. Liberation struggle, the definition of liberation struggle means that you go into arms, you know, uh, arms struggle to liberate yourself and liberate your people from foreign domination. We are under foreign domination in Nigeria, and they are using terrorism to, to conquer us. They are using terrorism to dominate us. That is the reason why every leader from the southern Nigeria, called Biafra land, from the eastern, uh, uh, from the eastern region of Nigeria called Biafra land, everybody is afraid to speak out. Everybody is afraid to condemn the impunity of the Fulani foreign or the foreign Fulani domination, because if you talk, they come to kill you. So they are using terrorism, and we must rise up to make sure we ground the economy of Nigeria. Not only the economy, we are already in revolution. This is called revolution. They kill our people without remorse. They invade our villages. They burn our villages. Kill our women. Kill our children, and they are in military uniform. So everybody must rise up, defend your land. When the Fulani foreign terrorists in the army uniform come anywhere near your village, defend your land. And those who are ready to defend their land, they know themselves. Do not put yourself in, in danger. Do not put your life in danger. If you are not capable, do not go to defend. Allow people who are ready to defend, to defend their land. Allow people who are ready do not just go and die. Do not just go and give your life to the military who are ready to kill anybody and terrorists are among them. Do not go. Do not try it. Allow people who are ready to do this job to continue to do it. That is the advice I will give you this evening. But in addition to this, watch this evening broadcast and we are going to establish the fact that they are being, uh, you know, the Nigeria is being dominated by a foreign Fulani terrorist using terrorism, including in the government. That's why nobody is talking, and nobody will ever talk. So I am going to prove it to you this evening, and don't miss the broadcast only on Enter Biafra Channel 1. On this note, thank you for being part of this program. Share it, and let everybody be part of it. Thank you. This is exactly what I have been saying, and this is exactly what I want to hear. Listen, let me tell you something. There is a way this movement will be going. There is a role you will be playing. The people will place you in that position without not saying it at, without not try, trying to make it look like a competition or you, you came to collect something. 
You have heard it from Simon Ekpa. Nobody, nobody is there for leadership. And nobody can take the place of Mazina the Khan. Please. Those people that are trying to put words in uh, Simon Ekpa's mouth. You've heard it from him. He is not ready for that. That is just the point I wanted. And that is what he has said that. And I'm so happy he made this video. And I'm so happy he clarified a lot of people, the thought of a lot of people. Please, Simon Ekpa is not interested in leadership. And what he is doing, he is contented with it. And he is doing it very well. And he's not ready for any award or any name or any stamp on him like you take over the leadership. No. He made another point. He said, whatever you can do or whatever you are doing, wherever you are, that we benefit the restoration of Biafra. Do it. And that is exactly what he is doing. And he gave the go-ahead to a lot of people who are as well interested in the same movement. So please, let peace reign. Allow Simon Ekpa to be doing what he is doing. He is doing a great and marvelous job. Let God reward him. Honestly speaking, that is my stand. And I really appreciate Simon Ekpa for bringing out this video to clarify a lot of that. He is not there for leadership. He's contented with what he's, ha what he's having and what he is doing. And anything that he wants to do, he has the right to carry out or to say whatever he wants to say without not claiming that he is acting leader. No. That is the name I don't want to hear. And I think that that is the name as well. He's not interested to bear. But the work that he is doing, he will continue it. This is a very brave man. Honestly, I love his energy and the way he normally foresees things and he makes sure he puts the right at the appropriate time. All right, my wonderful family, thank you very much for supporting this channel. I really appreciate you. I still remain your one and only Agatha Progress, bringing it to you live and direct. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, Umbanu, please click on that subscribe button that says subscribe and turn on the bell icon for more latest updates. See you when I see you. From me to you, I say bye.